Iku mau mau. Iku ah. Iku mau mau. Iku hulu hulu. Iku la novel. Iku ah. Iku la novel. Iku ah. Iku ah. Right, we are on King Street at Kavai Hall Church, and we have about a handful of people, ten or so at this point, um, ready to protest the construction that's expected to take place here today. I have the organizer here with me now. Hale aloha ayau. Is that right? Hi. Hi. Um, could you tell me why are you here today? Uh, we were informed that the church would begin uh, resume uh, test excavations to identify additional Ivi Kupuna for purposes of disinterment. And we, uh, you know, as living descendants, as living Hawaiians, we, we cannot allow, we have to defend these Kupuna from being exposed um, and from being uh, evicted from the place of, of their original interment. Um, what's most disturbing to you? The fact that 21 years after Onokohua, after the exhumation of 1,100 Hawaiians, after the passage of state laws and state burial regulations, after hundreds and hundreds of cases where we had to educate developers about not developing on ancestral graves, that you have the leading church in Hawaii, the leading Hawaiian church, conducting a construction project in the middle of a cemetery. Obviously, this is an ethical issue. Is there also a legal matter here? Well, the legal matters have been going through the courts. Um, for us, the focus is, you know, quite how church keeps saying that they're in regulatory compliance. And whether or not you accept that, what they're not uh, complying with is, is the consent of the families. And, you know, in the church's mind, it's something they just have to consult on. But in the Hawaiian tradition, burials are family matters. And so, you know, in order for them to proceed with what they want to do, they need affirmative consent. And they, you know, they have stated that they do not know the, the identity of these individuals. Well, if that is true, then how can they ever acquire affirmative consent to move them? Thank you so much. We'll check in with you through the morning and, of course, bring you all the developments as they unfold here at Kauai Hau Church. Back to you. Aloha. Aloha. Uh, may I ask Aloha. Uh, where we are and why we're here? We're here to uh, protect the burial, the cemetery, where they want to build this multi-purpose building. And my kupunas are in the footprint of this building. And other people have relatives here that may, may not have been disturbed, but they in the in the making, it's in the making as soon as they start construction. So we have to ask that the church wait a bit, sit, you know, put down their shovels and start talking, start the whole phone conference for some of these families who are very hurt. And uh, they just um, they want they be collected on the mountain. And they have a very Western mentality. I think that's why they don't want to participate in their work. I think they're afraid of what might come out of them. What's going to come out of them? Right now we're at uh, Kauaiaha'o Church. Um, and you know, we, we came here this morning with um, the understanding that they might be excavating Evie. So we came here to um, attempt to prevent that from happening, but they um, apparently they've canceled or rescheduled or they're not digging today. So we're um, gathering here and decided to remain here to um, kind of maintain a, a, a visual, spiritual, cultural presence and to, so that the church knows that there are Hawaiian people who are in opposition to this, um, you know, to the church excavating of and moving of burials for development, um, so that the church understands that it's hurtful to the Hawaiian community, and so that the church understands that um, it's something that is dividing us as a people, because one thing that has always kept us and grounded as a common fundamental principle, a cornerstone of our culture and spirituality is the understanding that Evie and burials are sacred. And um, so for some reason the church has lost sight of that and we're here to try to um, implore them, to remind them that 
it is um, a value, a Hawaiian value since time immemorial, since as far back as anyone can remember, as far back as it's been recorded, Hawaiians take care of their bones and treat them as sacred. The bones contain mana. Um, so we're here and we decided to, to gather and also to raise consciousness and to educate those that took the time to come here also, to educate them on the issue. But now, the kahu has um, asked us, I guess he doesn't want the visibility and the publicity of a protest on the front steps of his church. So he has asked us to leave, to go outside on the sidewalk and do, the, do our vigil protests, um, our peaceful uh, gathering in support of Malama Ivi. And, and many of us feel that um, it's unwarranted and there's no reason why we cannot be here. Um, we're not impeding nothing. There's no church functions going on. The church is the one that's creating this issue. Uh, the issue is between the church and lineal descendants and all Hawaiian people for that matter. So um, we're here to bring the issue before the church. So we shouldn't be on the sidewalk. We're here at the front steps of the of Kauai Ahau Church because that's who we're speaking to. It's kind of, uh, I'm sorry, but it kind of brings back a flashback in my head about the same kind of heaven going on over on another island, Hawaii. Well, <laughs> now we're, I mean, this is nothing new. Hawaiians have been fighting to Malama Iwi for decades. And, and you know, the scary part about this project is, um, um, there's what other churches watching what this country going on right now, yeah. yeah what kind of precedence is what this going to set? When the biggest, most prestigious Hawaiian church Hawaiian does it, church. then does that make it okay? Yeah. For other churches to do the same thing. They're standing in the wings waiting to see what happens here because they want to do the same thing. You know, they want to expand their churches too. But there are... Uh, ancient burials around. So they're waiting to, for the chance to dig them up and move them so they can expand. As we speak, they're waiting. So we have to, we, you know, we feel an obligation of Kuleana to be diligent, um, to be proactive in um, uh, protecting our Ivi Kupuna. Um, 20 years ago, 21 years ago, Honokahua was the big defining case. But this has been going on since way before then, way before then. And it's, it, to me, it is appalling and um, confusing, I guess, that after all this time, over the past 20 years, the struggle that we've gone through as a people to create the burial councils, to create the laws and legislation, you know, this is uh, paramount in people's consciousness. And it just seems so disconnected that and in this, in this age, this day, that Kauai Aha'o just doesn't get it. It's really sad. Oh, mahalo, mahalo. If there's any more information, is there a place that they can, uh, could you maybe show like an email that they can contact either one of you if they have some further questions or would you like to know more about this issue? Um, my email is kanikapu at yahoo.com. <laughs> yeah, they can contact me, kikalekini at hawaii.rr. Ikua! Ikua!